Welcome back to Nuts and Bolts Torqued. So my mission for this episode is to go to the nether, defeat a bunch of wither skeletons, and get at least one drop of evil so that I can get the mob spawning room up and going with Cursed Earth. Before I go to the nether though, I want to make sure I gear up pretty well. So first thing I'm going to do is make myself a good sword, of which the iron sword is definitely not. So let's make a proper sword using Tinker stuff. Uh, I took a look at the book, and it looks like a really good thing to use. Uh, where is it? Tool materials, Ardite. Here we go. So the last things I got were, like the, the highest tier of materials I have up until this point is Cobalt and Ardite. But if you look at that for like the head, for example, for Ardite the attack is 3.6, for Cobalt 4.1, not very high, but Manulin 8.72. A heck of a lot higher than everything else, like double what Cobalt is. And uh, it's actually pretty easy to make. Manulin is just made with equal parts Ardite and Cobalt. So I just smelted a bunch of that in here. Got the Manulin ready to go. And then we're gonna make a sword. After that, I think the only question is... Whoops. Oops. <laughs> Where's my other cast? Um, tool rod. I think the other part is a tool rod. Um, after this, the only question is, what sort of um, modifier do I want to put on the sword? Because increasing the durability is like not really that important. It's not like I'm going to be killing hundreds of enemies or something. So I'm going to want something that maybe increases damage. So we are doing the broadsword. I also could make a long sword and a rapier, but I'm just gonna make a typical broadsword, which is basically what the iron sword is. Okay, so it's gonna have 753 durability. I mean, the iron sword has 256, so this is that's a lot of durability. Three modifiers and 10.7 to attack, as opposed to the iron sword, which does six. So it's it's already doing a lot more damage. Plus, it's got a couple of nice traits. Increased damage to targets at full health. I don't know how much increased it is, but that's something. During combat, you deal more and more damage, but also consume more and more durability. So I think that means it's going to do more damage than even this suggests. I'm just going to throw this thing away. Now, let's take a look at the modifiers. It seems that Quartz can sharpen the blade and make it do more damage. So let's try that. Throw that in. Throw that in. Sharp 64. Takes it from 10.72 to 12.05. So it's not that big of an increase, but that's significant. I'll take it. I just don't have that much quartz. I have like another stack or so. So I don't think I want to put any more on it. Um, there's a couple things I could do to like increase knockback, for example. I could apparently attach a piston to it, and that will increase knockback. Alright, I've got seven pistons. I don't know how many you're supposed to use. Knockback, uh, okay, so it's ten to max out the first tier. So, yeah, it's going to increase the knockback. Don't know how much that's going to do, but... Let's do it. It's good to keep enemies away from me. Alright, now I've got some weird sword. It's got... I guess like a piston just glued to it or something. I don't know how that works. Seems like it'd be kind of unwieldy. Right, so weapon's good. Now, let's... Well, toss the stuff away. Let's focus on armor. I'm missing the... Oh, be quiet. I'm missing the chest piece and the head piece. Have these pieces. This one can stay, I suppose. Steel lightnings are pretty good, they're in good condition, but these are almost broken. I'm just gonna delete them. So what kind of armor can I make? I mean, I could just straight up make iron armor. I guess I could also make steel stuff? How much steel do I have built up? I haven't started producing any more, but I've got 67. I really want to save that though. I'm sure I'm gonna need a bunch of it for when I get back into making immersive engineering stuff and, and things like that. I know the crusher needs quite a bit of it. So let's just look at chest plate. Oh wow, that's a lot of chest plates. Is there something fancy I can make or should I just make iron? 
I should probably just make iron. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna make iron. Uh, but again, we're gonna need the whole tier system, so... I'm gonna make everything but the leggings, since we've got the steel leggings. I'm gonna have to go from chain all the way down to leather, so I'm gonna have to start at leather and build my way up. I've got it all together. Leather tunic. Boots. And cap. Let's make the chainmail variants. I don't know why I'm moving between tables. It's not like I'm actually... It's not like there's any reason to. Okay, and then let's make the iron variants. Okay. I've got some decent armor. Alright, good weapon. Okay, armor. Um, I've got plenty of food. There's a couple more things I want to do, or at least check, though. One of the things... Hmm. Actually, I'm not sure if I can do this. The Bag of Holding... You can enchant that and make it so that you can't... Uh, it won't be lost upon your death. But I don't know if you can do the same thing to the gold backpack. I think... I think you can, actually, but maybe it's like a special upgrade. So let's see, is there one here? Not specific. Fuzzy basic decompression... I feel like I saw something here for that. Eternity, I think that's it. Allows you to keep the backpack when you die. Yeah, although the upgrade disappears, so you have to make another one after that. Okay. Four emeralds, four diamonds. I don't think I have that. No. Two diamonds, three emeralds. Damn. It's just, I really don't want to lose this stuff. It's not that there's a huge risk of me actually losing it all, because there's the grave system, so I think even if I die in lava, my grave will just appear there. But it's just traveling in the nether is so dangerous. You could fall into lava anywhere. It could be hard to try to find where you died. But then again, it makes a waypoint to show you where you died. So I guess I don't need to worry about it too much. All right. Well, in that case, the only other thing I want to check before I go is I want to see if I can make a back or not a backpack, a jetpack. Some of these I'm not familiar with, like these jetpacks from Gravitation Suite. Uh, <laughs> that's not happening. Advanced rocketry? I don't think that's happening. Iron sheets. Actually, wait a minute. I can totally make this? I haven't already had to fuel it, though. I, I don't think I'll make those. Simply jetpacks, that's the mod that I'm familiar with. So iron jetpack, uh, electric jetpack. So it looks like the lowest tier jetpack is electric. Glowstone, iron item casing, bat box, I can make all of that. Advanced, I can actually make this. Yeah, I, I can actually make that. Now, is it actually going to be any good? Who knows? I mean, it's the lowest tier one, so I'm sure it's not that good. The question, though, is whether it's actually usable. Because I've seen some other expert mod packs that make it so that the energy consumption of the jetpacks is jacked up to the point where it just runs out in like 10 seconds. So this might be almost useless, or could be really good. Either way, I'm going to make it, because being able to fly in the nether is extremely valuable. Flying over all that lava, navigating around, getting to safety, it's just invaluable in the nether. Batteries, tin cable, yep. All right, I'm gonna make it. Okay, I think we have everything ready to make the jetpack. So all this stuff to make the bat box. I've already made one of these. Um, all this, 
just make the electronic circuit. Electronic circuit goes in here to make the advanced circuit. And I believe these go in here, and we have a jetpack. Ah, right. This replaces your chest armor. Hmm. Is this plus eight armor, though? Let's see how that compares. Eh, my armor goes way down. Crap. Can you reinforce it? I know you can reinforce some types of armor, but I don't know if you can do it for that tier. Electrical steel. I don't know what that is. I don't think we can actually get it armored until we move up to the simply jetpacks. So what was the first tier of this? Conductive? Iron? Wait, what? Ah, eh, whatever. <laughs> Those are confusing. Anyway, I'll just live with it. It's worth the hit in armor. Of course we need to charge the dang thing. I'm pretty sure, by the way, that this thing kinda... I'm pretty sure the IC2 jetpack is like really slow and not very good <laughs> compared to the Simply Jetpacks jetpacks. Also, my whole energy system is like dead right now. Yeah, it's like completely empty. It was very slowly, actually not that slowly filling up. What is it that's taking up so much power? Are these not full? These are all full. So what was taking up power? Like, if I remove this, this bat box is not filling up. Like, power is being drawn from it. Like, power is constantly being drawn from it. But these are all full, so where's the power going? I don't understand. Somehow this thing's overcharged. 1.201 out of 1.2. This one too. What the hell? That uh, is really, really strange. I don't get it. But anyway, let's keep filling this up. And full. Okay. Whoa, it makes no noise. Also, wow, it makes you go up really fast. How is it doing on power? They didn't use up that much. It's so strange that it's completely silent. Yeah, the movement speed forwards, um, the horizontal speed is very low, but it goes up and down very quick. It actually doesn't use up that much power. I'm impressed. I do absolutely loathe it though because it doesn't have any sound. It just doesn't feel right. That's one of the coolest parts about a jetpack. You feel like you're jetting around and that just ruins it. Oh, I can't wait to upgrade to the simply jetpacks, jetpacks. Those actually have sounds. Anyway, this is great. I'm so glad I made that though. It's gonna be super helpful in the nether. Okay, let's head on in and look for withers. I've got plenty of food, I've got, well, not that decent armor anymore now that I've put on the jetpack, but that's okay. Got a good sword. That's a train in the background, by the way. Um, and also, I just realized I haven't set up the nether portal. Whoops. Final piece. Done. And now that I've actually got steel, I can make a real flint and steel, so I don't have to use the log and lava trick to light this thing. There we go. Um, got all that ready. Oh, I also grabbed a bunch of dirt stacks just so I have some sort of a building block that I can use and quickly take down if I want. All right, let's go. So I'm looking for fortresses, buildings. Those are the places that have spawners, I think. Well, I guess I found one.
Please stop burning. Yeah, wow. Okay, so this new um, nether portal exit at this new place takes me right to a fortress. Or near a fortress. I don't know if this is a fortress itself or if just one of these will lead to a fortress. I don't really know how the nether works, to be honest. Let's take a look around. Oh, um... Um, I should probably mark this on the map so I know how to get back. Exit. And I'll make just like a tower here. Just put some torches around it. So remember, I'm looking for wither skeletons. Ooh. Oh, that's not a fortress. Jetpack is so fast to go up. It's kind of out of control. Do these lead anywhere? Oh my god. I haven't been here for so long. This pickaxe is instant at taking out this nether rack. Wow. <laughs> that is so satisfying. It makes the game kind of laggy, it's so fast. It doesn't know what to do with itself. And no, that doesn't go anywhere. Hmm. Try this way. Redstone. Yes. Gladly take that. I still need redstone. I'm not exactly desperate for it, but I can definitely use it, and it'll come in handy when I want to increase the speed of this thing even more. Which is pretty much always. I mean, why would I not want to increase the speed? I could just go off in a random direction, I suppose. Sometimes you can see them on the map, too. Oh, hmm. Could that be it right there? I don't know how big fortresses are. You can see all these different pathways, but there should be a building of some sort. I feel like I already went over there, but let me go check it. Oh, I didn't check it. It's actually either behind this wall or it's on a different level. Oop. Oh! Hmm. Down? Oh yeah, it's down here. Boop. Mm, let's mark this place so I know I go up here. Oh man, such creepy noises. Is this a fortress? We got another wart. I'm gonna gather this stuff up. I'm not sure what I'll need it for, but I'm sure I'll need it for something. Lags back. 
so many pathways. I just want some wither skeletons. So far, no spawners. I see some chests in the distance. Diamond. Tin saddles? No thanks. Ooh, wait a minute. I think I see a wither skeleton on the map. I believe that's a wither. So this way and maybe up? It's this way. So this is like right here. I see ghosts. Hmm. I thought maybe the wraiths would be able to float. But nope. Ooh. <laughs> Creepy noises. What did that drop? Soul bead. What do you use that for? I'm pressing U on it, and it's not coming up with anything, so I guess it has no uses. Anyway, yeah, there's supposed to be a wither here, so I guess it's down below, maybe? Oh. Is that a wither? Oh, I, I think it is a wither, it's just got armor on. Yeah. Mm, I don't think it's a wither spawner, though. No, it's just a random wither. Cyan rune. Iridium shards. Robo surgeon. What is this stuff? Guess I'll just grab it all. Filled tin cans. Pile of ashes, more diamonds. Oh wow, I just realized the diamonds. <laughs> nice. Brown rune, sure. What's that used for? Also, no use is popping up. Don't think I need the pile of ashes. So yeah, there's definitely no spawner around here for them. In fact, there doesn't seem to be any spawners at all. So I'm gonna have to look somewhere else. I found a lava charm in the chest. It doesn't specifically say what it does, but it's giving me an extra like layer of things here. It probably protects you against a certain amount of fire damage. And it looks like I can put it in my bauble's slots. This is the bauble slots are for just like random little things like rings and necklaces and stuff. So it doesn't have to take up inventory space. Right. How much electricity do I have? Pretty good amount. I could just go off exploring, I guess. But let me make visible the waypoint for my home, because I'm not going to know how to get there. Oh, the, right, there's two exits. Because this is the same nether, but I've come here through two different ways, so there's two different portals. Uh, well, this is the closest one, so that's probably the one I came from. Uh, let's turn it on. Now, yeah, there it is. So I guess I'll just go off in some direction? All right, scary. What are those things? They're trying to kill me. Fire elementals. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think I want to mess with those. No thanks. Even with the fire charm. Aha! Uh -huh. Looks like I found another fortress. I should probably mark these on the map as well. Ooh, and diamond ore. 
I've been gathering all the diamond ore I find. Got eight, which once you process it out will become 16 normal diamond ore. Pretty sweet. No. I just got my first blaze rod. This fire charm really doesn't seem to be doing much. Maybe it doesn't protect me against fire. Is that... Is it an enemy? Oh! No, it's not. Just a cute little zombie Pikmin. Trying to bait the shot out. Ah, oh, right. That's right, just attacking it catches you on fire because it's, well, made of fire. Makes sense. So many zombie pigmen. Oh. Oh. oh, I see one. I see two wither skeletons on the map. Okay, that's something. What is this? Magic capacitor. Red rune. Match capacitor. Hold on a second. Let's take a look at this thing. It's a machine upgrade from Ender IO. I've never heard of it. If you had to describe this, enhanced, crafty, unstable, insatiable, enhanced hiding wonder capacitor would be a bad name. Yes, it would. Huh. Increases energy storage and speed range of machines. Can you... Oh, you can't craft it, so it's something you can only get through dungeon chests. It is... It is a magic capacitor. It's magic. Okay, there should be a wither skeleton, like, right here. Aha! Hello? No spawner, unfortunately. I don't think that's a drop of evil. Get away from me. Foul QB beasts that turn into lava. Please don't burn the items. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Delete. Delete. Just in case that's a drop of evil. Is it? Wither dust. I don't know what the other thing was, but it definitely was not a drop of evil. With their dust block. I don't know what that is, but it's not drop of evil. Can't craft it using the dust. Okay, I saw another one on the map somewhere. Beautiful. Pyromancer's ring. Another. Oh, well, no, this is a different capacitor. Ancient capacitor. Huh. How much room do I have in this thing? Not much, but I'm gonna pack this as full as I can. Robosurgeon, capacitor, runes. The Pyromancer's ring, what does that do? Fire aspect one. No idea. Yeah, I have not seen a single spawner here. That might be on purpose to make the game harder, because if there's no spawners... Or if there's no spawners in the nether, at least, I don't know any reliable way to get withers, other than waiting until you're far enough in the game where you can make your own powered spawners, which is pretty far in the future for me, probably. Huh. Looks like all I can do is just go to fortresses and hope to get lucky. There's usually like one or two spawns. Well, I guess I'm going to go away from the fortress so that they despawn and then come back and hope to roll some more withers. Oh, wait a second. I think I see two withers up here, or at least one. Oh, no, no, no. It's down? I saw them for a second, but I went too high. Yeah, they're that way. Ooh, I see him. Hello! Two. Hmm. 
no drop of evil. Nether spotted, or not nether, wither spotted on the map. Somewhere over here. Also, there's some sort of a strange storm happening, which is making it quite difficult to see. Hmm. Alright, I'll just go through the wall. Damn you, Cole, you're slowing me down. Alright, it's like right here. I heard it. Where are you? I bet this looks terrible on YouTube. This has got to really mess with the compression. All this super sharp dust like stuff. Oh, hello. Oh, this one's super strong. Drop of you. Whoa. Oh, I've got withered. I've, I've gotten withered, which is causing me damage over time. <gasps> Wait a minute. I think that's a drop of evil. That looks like a drop. Um, uh, I'll toss the bones. Drop of evil. Yes. Oh my god, we found one. See, I was thinking I'd find a spawner and get a couple of these just to be super safe. In case something happens, I have a backup, but given that, there don't seem to be any spawners. I just have to randomly find them, but nah, I'll just stick with one. Alright. Sweet. Now I just gotta go to the exit, 440 meters that way. Um. Try going this way. Try to dig my way out. Whoa. Ooh, is that emerald? Yeah. And how are we looking on power? We've got a little bit more than half of our power left, so plenty to get back. You know, we could use this opportunity to see what in the heck that is. Sunstone ore. break this, it's going to fall down into the lava? Let's see. What can I toss? There's like very little I want to toss. Soul sand? Uh, well, I don't need like 20 stacks of netherrack. I'll dump some of that. Oh, yeah, burned. Rip. Paranoid about my power. I'm at half power now. Nice and slow for a lake of lava. Let's try to stay on land as much as possible so that I don't have to waste power. I'm just like keeping a little bit of an eye on the map to see if I find any other withers. What? Where are you? I'll smack you in the face. I don't know where it is. God, it really is hard to see. I'm so sorry. This must be extremely difficult to see on YouTube. Oh, there you are.
The hardest part about them is actually getting to them. Normally they're just like floating over a pool of lava, so you... In vanilla, I think you usually have to kill them using a bow, and they die in one hit. But in modded, it's a little bit easier when you have a jetpack to get to them. Okay, there's the exit. Quick look at the map, I don't see any more withers. Let's get out of here. Ah. Feels good to be home. I'm gonna take the jet back off. It's good for the nether, but I don't like it. The way it behaves is just a little bit weird, makes movement strange. I'm only gonna put it on when I really need it. Okay, let me dump and process a bunch of these things, and then get the drop of evil going and see if we can get our mob spawner working. Alright, so I replaced the whole bottom of the mob spawner with dirt, because that's what the seed of evil needs to be put in, and that's what it spreads in. So it's all dirt, been covered up by the panels again. Got this one little bit open. Gonna take down the torch. Gonna plop in the drop of evil. Boop. Oh, ho, ho. that was quick. Hold on. Wow, wow, that's very quick. Put this, put this down. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. I couldn't even put the thing down. Okay, it's working. Wow, maybe I just need one little tiny bit. I thought it would take minutes to spread. It seems not. Huh. Uh, your home bed was missing or obstructed. Apparently it doesn't like where I put my bed, so it put me all the way back at base, at home spawn in the flower field. Well, no thanks. Um, roofed teleport? Yeah, let's do that. Lag spike. Now a guardian's trying to kill me. Ow. Okay. Hmm. What is this? Death inventory list. Ah, uh, cool. I don't need that. They're not, like, spewing out, are they? Hopefully not. There's no way to stop it. You can... I think you can burn it up by making it very bright in there, but I don't want to burn it up, because then it might disappear totally, and then I'll have to get another drop of evil. Um, let's make a little bit of food. I don't know, juice? Let's make a quick sword. Oh, right. Um, I should probably have some sort of a building block so I can block it off. But yeah, this is definitely going to work. There it is. So I think I just have to sneak across it. Nothing's spawning at the moment? Try to run in there. Got my stuff. I don't think I ever put down that vector plate though, right? I really want to get that vector plate in there. There we go, got it in. Okay. 
So now it should spawn just like at an extreme rate, which it is. I should probably make the enemy sounds quieter. They're really loud. And it should be funneling everything into here. And... Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, babies can get out! Oh, so fast! And spiders can get out. Okay, but that's not that big of a deal. And look at that. Just, just from that. Just from leaving it running. For like... A minute. I got four bones. An ender pearl, iron ingot, gunpowder, a bunch of string, mana cakes, spider eye. Oh, let me remove that death marker. Yeah, this is working. This is working really well. Remember, the whole point of this, the main thing, was to get bones so that I can make a bunch of camonite stuff and make the dawnstone using embers. Give me them bones. Yeah. Now I've got eight bones already. Yay! That works even better than I could possibly have imagined. I thought the spawn rate would have been slower. Okay. Well, I'm gonna call that a great success. Even though I died, managed to get my stuff back pretty easily. What can you do with mana cakes? Let's eh, just eat them. That makes sense. It is a cake. You can do all sorts of fun stuff. Now I've, now I've got a place to get ender pearls pretty reliably, so... You know, if I wanted to teleport... Whoop, you know, so I wanted to do that and almost die, I can. Doesn't ender pearls work, by the way? They're not just a crafting ingredient and stuff, but you can also throw them and they teleport you wherever they land. Anyway, I am super happy with how that turned out, even though I was a little bit worried that I wouldn't be able to get a drop of evil because of the lack of wither skeleton spawners or any spawners in the nether, but it worked out. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to process the caminite and the bones in the caminite and all that stuff and get a bunch of caminite built up and, I think, make some dawnstone. <laughs>